So this is our new uh, I hope blood glucose meter or uh, what's better known as a glucometer. It's a simple uh, compact form factor. Uh, this is the reader. It has a slot in the bottom. Mm -hmm. So you you said your blood brother is a diabetic, so you probably have seen him prick his finger and uh, put blood on the tip of a test strip, insert it, and you're going to get a reading that looks like this. And that reading, uh, actually over time, you can look at a list, you can chart it, and you can actually move this around in, in relation to time of day, which is important in regards to monitoring before and after meals. Uh, you can look at a specific time range, you can look at statistics, and then do some simple analysis based upon time range. Uh, you can share it via email, uh, and then there's a great function to uh, set reminders to measure, reminders to take your medication or your insulin, reminders to redo that after, mm -hmm. after meals. And then there's a pretty robust FAQ and a troubleshooting uh, uh, list of troubleshooting questions in case you so have any you... questions about using the device. Okay. And can you send your results directly to your doctor? You absolutely can email them on an individual basis, but part of the device and the free app is uh, a cloud service that you can opt into. Mm -hmm. And with the cloud service, you're able to upload data. Mm -hmm. And when you upload the data, you're able to manipulate it in there, in, in the cloud service. You're able to export it, graph it, but you're also able to email it to your file. Right. So email the file to your doctor. Now, is this FDA approved? This device is not FDA approved. Mm -hmm. It will be, and it will be rated a class two device, which is similar to a medical, medical Great. device. And are there any issues with the cloud in terms of security? Do you get any questions around that? We actually haven't gotten any questions regarding security. So this, there, you know, the data at this point is not encrypted. Uh, we just launched the service with our current blood pressure doc and digital scale. So this is the blood pressure doc right here? Right. And, you know, this data, this, I mean, it is it is uh, data that definitely uniquely identifies you, but you're making a decision to do this. Uh, we're not going to do anything with your data. We, we, we have no interest in using your data or sharing it. Uh, we merely want to give you a place to, to securely store it because it's not securely stored on an iOS device, especially when you drop it in water. Yeah. Or a glass, a cup of tea is the latest I've heard. <laughs> uh, so it, it allows you to securely store the data as well as, you know, do some simple manipulation, uh, simple analysis. Uh, there is an API that's in development, so we'll be coming out with that soon. It, it, it's the beginnings of a, what will be a robust uh, way for you to, to both uh, instantly upload the data as, as it's reported in the device, right. but also to look at aggregated data over time and, and analyze that. So you're able to use, you know, if you're diabetic, you're able to track your weight, your uh, your yeah, you can have a digital scale. scale over there, I see. There's a, a gentleman right there checking it out, and yeah. I don't know if I would ever step on that after the holidays, but very brave soul. Uh, <laughs> yeah, I definitely don't want to step on it any... Actually, I keep losing weight, so it's a good thing. Well, congratulations. Thank you. We're, and I very can, appropriate, given that you work with iHealth. I, I definitely think so. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's my New Year's resolution to be healthier since I work with a company that is... <laughs> All about health. Great. Well, thank you so much, everybody. This is Joseph, and how do we say your last name, Joseph? Martorano. Joseph Martorano with iHealth.